Hello again everyone and thank you for joining me for part 2 of the video series. Part 1 of course was my YubiKey unboxing. This is part 2, the configuration of the YubiKeys I unboxed in part 1. As you know, my name is Michael Weir. I'm a technical marketing engineer here at Ingram Micro and a CMMCRP. And now let's get to it. So we're going to start out with G Suite and configuring that to use the YubiKey. I'm using the blue one you saw in the previous video, the security key for this part. Adding it to Google is actually really simple. And of course we're not going to do either of those because this is a demo account. So we're just going to not now on that. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to yourself there and click on Manage Your Google Account. Once you're in a Manage Google Account, you're going to go to Security. Signing into Google, you're going to go to Two-Step Verification. Get started. Enter your current password. Once you're logged in, we're going to show more options on how we're getting in here. We're going to go say we're going to add a security key. Next. Now we're doing some security key setup that's going on through a, a utility that's built into Windows. So we're going to say OK. OK again. Now, what you can't see is that my YubiKey there lit up and uh, glowed for a second to remind me to tap it, and I tapped it. Now I've tapped it, so it's authenticated in. I have to give it a name so I remember what it is. Click Done. And we're set up. Two-step verification is on. Now to give you an idea of what that looks like in action, I'm going to log out and log back in. So clicking back into my demo account here, I'm going to put in my password like I did before. And now, once again, you can't see it, but my UV key is glowing, so I'm going to tap on it with my finger. And so I can do more demos, so do not do this again on this device. Uncheck that. And here we go, we're logged in right back to where we were to begin with. Super easy, super simple. As you can see, I did this in like two minutes. All right, now we're moving on to the Microsoft Dynamics CRM slash M365 side of things. Now, I'm looking at my existing sign-in methods here. I have my phone number text, of course, and I have my Microsoft Authenticator. We're going to add a method. It's going to be Authentication App, because I'm using the Ubico app on my phone. So I have to click that I'm using something that's a non-Microsoft app, setting up my account. So I'm going to pull up the screen of my phone on here. You can see I'm opening up my Ubico Authenticator app. Now, oops, I forgot to pull down to activate my NFC. Pull down, activate my MF NFC authentication. I touch my YubiKey to it, in this case a 5 series, and we're ready to authenticate. So now we're ready to set up the account linking between these two. So we're going to scan the QR code right there. QR code accepted. We have some information on who the account is, what it's from. Now I have to scan, I have to tap my NFC token again, like my YubiCo 5 series, like I said, on the top of my phone. I'm credentialed in, and now I can see the six-digit password that I have to put in in order to log into uh, Microsoft 365. Now this is cool because it's a, it is two factors. Yes, I ha yes, I'm looking at a code on my phone, but there's air gapping there, and this code isn't being texted me or something like that. And I also have to touch the physical key to my phone in order for it to give me that six-digit code in the first place. Well, there you have it, folks. That is configuring a YubiKey security key for G Suite and configuring a YubiCo 5 Series FIPS for Office 365 slash Dynamics CRM. It did them both under four minutes. Nice and easy, super secure. Don't forget to realize the promise of technology and have a good day.